Well, how y'all doing? It's Tuesday. Yes, sir. I, I skipped the day. I skipped yesterday over. I uh, had some things I had to do. Chores, run into town, do this the other day. And uh, t-shirt shop. Had to run and go get feed for the donkey. And I uh, just got a busy day and I didn't get around to doing the show yesterday. And I apologize for that. I try not to take too many off. Anyway. Oh, there's a few things I want to show you. Get a little tongue-tied there. First thing I want to show you is my new necklace. I want you to take a look at that. That's from Norman Pincomb. Norman Pincomb up in British, I mean, Honeymoon Bay, British Columbia, up in Canada. Now, Norman made this, and it's a the map of Texas with a blue stone set in the center. And uh, Norman showed me, uh, sent me a picture or two there in the comment section down there showing me as he was making it. And uh, I am so proud of this necklace. Uh, Norman says it's uh, probably going to be the last piece he's ever going to make. Because he's, uh, he's kind of losing his eyesight and his uh, use of his hands, he says. And, and uh, that's got to be rough for somebody who likes to make things and work with their hands. So, Norman, I, I can't thank you enough, buddy. And I'm just so proud of it. Uh, it's it's the simple things that 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 just make me pause and it, it humbles me to to accept things like this from y'all and uh, it just makes me so proud. And uh, Norman, he says that uh, he started watching me and was proud of me for standing up for the country that he loves so much. And he's from Canada. He's talking about us down here. We have a lot of support in Canada and around the world from people that love this country. And that's why they support me. That's why they support all of us Blue Dots. Is because they love this country as much as we do. And want to see it returned. Anyway, how you like that shirt? Eh? This shirt is also from our, one of our fans. This is from Amy Donahue up in Taylor, Pennsylvania. Now she saw this design on the internet. I've seen it there, that picture up there. But she didn't buy this shirt. No. She was inspired to hand paint this shirt, so I can I can feel it. It's a it's a beautiful job, Amy. It's a, and and how appropriate. I remember old, that Miller song when it's time to relax, all that stuff. That's the beer I used to drink when I was young, younger. Uh, was Miller High Life. I didn't go for the light beer. I always stuck with the Miller High Life. But uh, but now, when it's time to impeach. One thing is clear, Mueller's here. That's right, baby, it's Mueller time. And I can't wait for him to come out and put a torpedo right in the side of this Donnie the Dick. And I uh, hope he sinks him on the first shot. I don't see how he can miss. But uh, thank you, Amy, and uh, thank you, Norman. These are uh, these are treasured gifts that I will I will keep forever. There's things that people send me that just... They come with a story, uh, and, and I, I keep a, right there my driver's license. There's a star on top of that that flew one of our blue dots home up in Ben Wheeler, Texas. I don't go anywhere without that star. It came off of a very special flag, and it means a lot to me. So I keep it right there on top of my driver's license so everybody can see it. Anyway, what's going on? What? In 10 days, I ain't seen y'all the other day. I told y'all every time I get done with a show, this idiot does something else. And by the time I get it uploaded, hell, I'm behind the curve on the news. The mooch. Hey, the mooch, the mooch. He got fired. He got canned. He got his ass run out. In 10 days. Is that some kind of record or some shit? They're falling like fleas right after you spray them. I swear they're just dying like nothing. Oh, Mooch is gone, but who who could have guessed after that shit storm that he put out with the uh, with that news article with all his cussing and cussing everybody out? But he he did. Brent's previous went before he did. He made sure of that shit. So, uh, but I don't know. Donnie picked him. Donnie picked him, knowing that he was fired from Goldman Sachs, that he failed the bar exam twice. He couldn't become a lawyer because he failed the bar exam. He lost control of his only investment company, Skybridge, and his wife is divorcing his ass, and Donnie says, that's my man! And Donnie picked him, and we got a shitload out of him, didn't we? We got a shit storm out of him, but old Donnie liked him. Donnie thought he was it until maybe he started getting a little more attention than Donnie did, and then maybe Donnie didn't like that shit. But he got rid of Rince Primus, 
And we got General Kelly. Well, General Kelly evidently came in and said he didn't want to walk with the mooch. The mooch can get the hell out. Oh, boy, buddy, you just shot yourself all over the place. Moochie boy, you ain't got shit left. I hope your wife takes you for every dime you got, too. Anyway, General Kelly's our new chief of staff. Yep, and no bullshit Marine. That's what came in. That's who got rid of Mooch. Got rid of his ass because he can't work with somebody like that. He's an idiot. Anyway, old Kelly says that everybody's going to report to him now, including Ivanka and Jarrett and all the little babies there. They all got to check with the general before seeing Do Donnie. You think that's going to last? I don't think so. Oh, Donnie Jr. and Ivanka, that's their daddy. They're going to run and go see him anytime. I don't know what the hell happened to Eric. He just disappeared. Hmm. Disappeared. Maybe Trump's got him hidden away so he don't make an idiot out of himself. Let's don't forget a few things about their General Kelly there. He came from Homeland Security. And the things that he goes for, he supports 100% a wall on the southern border. There is an idiot. That's our general. That's the new chief of staff. And he also supports Trump's Muslim ban. So we know who we're dealing with here. We're dealing with another right-wing asshole who's in there. So don't be taking no big hoorahs that we got a general from the Marine Corps and the White House Chief of Staff. If he don't slap that phone out of Donnie's hands, well, then he ain't going to be any better than anybody else. His ass will be gone with shit smeared all over him just like everybody else. Like the Mooch, like Spicer, like Flynn, like Manafort, like the whole damn list of people that get around Flynn, I mean get around Donnie, they get that Trump shit smeared all of them because the name Trump, that's exactly what it means. Anyway, they're talking this morning on the news about old Donnie the dick is the one that dictated Junior's statement after that meeting with the Russians came out, you know, uh, Donnie met with the Russians because he thought he was going to get dirt on Hillary Clinton, and he was all for that. Let's collude with the Russians. Let's pull in Jarrett and uh, and that other dickhead that was in there. I can't remember it now. Anyway, they was all Paul Manafort. And uh, anyway, they're all in there. Or Rince Priebus. Shit, now I can't remember. Anyway, forget about that. Anyway, Donnie dictated that statement when Donnie Jr. came out and said that the meeting was all about the Russian adoption program. Well, come to find out, those words came straight from Donnie the Dick's mouth. He told him what to say. He told him to lie to the American people. Of course, that's nothing new. Donnie loves to lie. Donnie gets everybody to lie for him, and that's the first step that Republicans take in getting that shit smeared all over them, is they start lying for Donnie. And that's what, uh, that's what Donnie Jr. did on there. He came out and on July 12th that Donnie's lawyer said that the press did not that the president did not sign off on that statement. He did. He not only signed off on it, he wrote the damn thing. So yeah, how much of a a, a good honest guy you think his lawyer is? He's not honest. He's a scum sucking lying dog just like Trump is. They're all lying scum sucking dogs because that's the only way they can get through this shit is make crap up. Talking about making crap up. Uh, I've seen where Sean Hannity and Fox News are being sued. What are they being sued about? They're being sued by a guy named Rod Wheeler. Rod Wheeler used to be a, uh, or he is, he's a, he's a Fox News contributor. He's been a long time Fox News contributor. But he's filing a lawsuit for false information and shit that Sean Hannity and Fox News pushed about the guy. Remember his name? Seth Rich. He was a DNC staffer who was murdered in a botched robbery, they say. That's what the police report says. Anyway, knowing those details and investigating all that shit, that's what it was, was a botched robbery and this guy got killed. But because he worked for the DNC, Fox News and Shan, Sean Hannity, the bullshit mountain kings of the world, the lying-ass dogs of Fox News who make bullshit up constantly, so ignorant people will follow them. They get giddy when they hear ignorant stories. And old Donnie provides them all the time. And uh, they colluded with the White House to, to uh, push the false story, knowing it was false, about Seth Richard. Seth Rich. And uh, that guy, Rod Wheeler, he's suing uh, Fox News for fabricating quotes that he, they say came from Rod Wheeler. And Rod Wheeler says, oh, no, you don't. You ain't making shit up on my ass, you bunch of lying dogs. And... Uh, Man, that Fox News, don't they have a wonderful reputation? The people that follow Fox News 
are just the the laziest ignorant people because the facts are brought out all the time that they're a bunch of scum sucking lying dogs who do nothing but hit on women and make it all that shit all their people are getting fired left and right over there but the ignorant masses of Fox News will praise Fox News oh it's so heavenly because you know Fox News is fighting the war on Christmas war on Christmas yep that's the kind of shit I always say Fox News brings you any kind of bullshit story that they can stir the right up, the religious right especially. Oh, Lord, they're pushing. They think all the Democrats are evil demons. Anyway, the damn, uh, I'm trying to catch up where I was before I got distracted by bullshit mountain. Uh, Donnie's uh, trying to push the health care still. He says if the new bill is not approved quickly, bailouts for insurance companies will end. Bailouts to insurance companies, those aren't bailouts. Those are payments provided by the ACA in the law to help subsidize Americans for their health insurance. It's the law, Donnie. There's a law in the books. Just because you're the president doesn't mean you can just throw the law in the ditch. Because Donnie thinks, he, Donnie thinks he's above the law. The law doesn't count for Donnie. Donnie doesn't believe in that shit. Donnie believes in only what Donnie says. That's the law in his eyes. And, uh... Stop the payout, the bailout. He's tried to kill it. Any way he can make the American people suffer, he will do it. While he praises the stock market where all the rich people are making money, he is willing to throw every lower income American in this country into the ditch, roll over them with a truck, it doesn't matter, kill them as far as Donnie the Dick is concerned because he's not about to cough up them subsidy payments for your stinking health. And that's Donnie the Dick. Jared Kushner says they couldn't collude with the Russians because they couldn't collude with their own offices. So they're trying to lay the groundwork that they didn't collude with the Russians because we're too stupid. We're ignorant. We don't even collude with ourselves. How could we collude with the Russians? Really, Jared, that's your answer? Either you're going to plead you were just plump ignorant. What? Is that the deal? Just so you, you, you claim you didn't break the law? Doesn't my ignorance of the law is no excuse. Isn't that what they say all the time? I don't give a shit how stupid you were. You demonstrated how stupid you were, Jarrett. Along with Donnie Jr. and the President Dick. You demonstrate how stupid you are every day. And I think the right is finally starting to catch on to that shit. Because Janitor, Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona is stepping out. And what's he stepping out saying? He says his, his party is in denial, that they turned their back on their conservative values when they started supporting Trump. And he's right. They threw everything in the ditch. The Republican Party is now the party of the Klan, the white supremacists, the, 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 the religious nut jobs who think they want to take the cross and shove it down your throat. Those are the idiots that the Republican Party has now consumed themselves with. The, the age of the moderate Republican, the wise Republican, the one that concerns for his country, those people are gone. Country's got nothing to do with this. It's all about the party and how much money you can bring in. How much money can you get from the Russians or any other place? That's what the deal is. He, and they're starting to... Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri, he's trying to tell them. Because Trump's trying to push his damn health care again that's already been killed. He wants them to revive it. Oh, Roy Blunt says, Missouri, it's time, for Missouri, it's time to move on from health care, Donnie. They don't want to do it. You're going to try to force them. Your president in the Republican Party is an asshole. He doesn't give a shit about the Republican Party. He doesn't give a shit about the senators, the Republicans that represent the, the party. And uh, he will throw every one of them under the bus and into the ditch like he has done to everybody that gets around him. How much more are these Republicans? Jeff Blake, I'm, I'm glad to see that man stand up because that's exactly what the Republicans have done. They've thrown their shit into the ditch. Everything, their cross, their Bible, their Jesus, their, their values, their patriotism, everything they've ever claimed to have, they have thrown in the ditch for the golden idol of Donald Trump, the dickhead liar that sits in our house. That's who they support, a lying asshole who tries to subvert the law at every chance he can get, lie, cheat, steal, go to his col bribe collection centers every weekend to collect more money and bribes from all people around the world. That's what Donnie's in this for. 
screw you, screw the flag, screw America, and screw everything else. Donnie's going to steal as much as he can. While he waves the flag and holds the cross. Yep, fascism, baby. Donald Trump is nothing but. That's a corporation, buddy. That's a business taking over this country. Ain't got nothing to do with loyalty or anything like that. Shit. Makes me sick, people. It makes me sick, and I just so... Whew. Like, share, and subscribe. John Bertabo of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Bertabo Speaks, my fan page over there. Don doing a hell of a job. Twitter. Anything we can get this message out, we need to keep going because like Senator Flake up there from Arizona is realizing and starting to speak out, the Republican Party is a dying party. They're choking themselves. They're trying to force feed themselves bullshit from Donald Trump and they're choking on it. And they will. Their party will disintegrate. It will be nothing left but thieves and, and white supremacists and cockroaches left in that party. So, uh, if you're a Republican, buddy, I, it's time to stand up. It's time to speak out against this bullshit that the world sees going on every day. So stand up if you're a Republican. Say something about that shit. Don't leave it up to us Democrats to do all the patriotic work that your assholes are always saying. You wave the flag and all that other shit. But when it comes time to action, you do nothing. The man in your house is a liar. Get his ass out. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful time. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to run over to uh, uh, Maestro's house. Probably tomorrow, but I'll do a rant anyway because I miss my day. And anytime I miss a day, I feel bad. So anyway, stay, stay active. Stay in the discussions in our family on the comments section. Reach out when you can to help somebody if you can. And uh, remember, this is our country we're fighting for. Norman knows about it all up in Canada. We have friends in England all over Europe that recognize the fight we're in. And uh, they support us 100%. And uh, we can't ask for anything better. It's up to us to get this man out. So let's keep doing it every day. I love every one of you out there. Amy, thank you very much. That's a lot of hand work right there. Norman, I'm blessed. I got my little blue dot right there above my Texas now. So, uh, so I'm good to go, baby. There's, uh, there's things I cherish in life. My, my watch and my bracelet and a cigarette lighter up by having my jewelry box because I'm scared to death I'm going to lose that thing one day are things I've had just about all my life. And uh, I don't take them lightly. When I keep something as a memento, it's, it's there to stay, baby, and I remember what it's there for. So, let's remember why we're Americans and why we're in this fight. It's because we love our country. So let's do that every day and keep this shit going. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye now.